Yes, playing the game. Almost eight years. Eight years. Yes. So you must have a lot of apps in your uh, phone, right? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. What kind of Chinese apps do you always use? So the the one I use the most is definitely WeChat because it's yes. so convenient. Uh, you can coordinate like with uh, friends, with uh, working colleagues, with clients even sometimes you can share all kind of documents yes. and of course also the, the, the friend circle you can uh, when it's uh, sometimes boring you can uh, see some news see yeah. what your friends are up to so which are definitely uh, I use the most um, but also other apps just like Meituan, uh, um, Chufu too many like it, 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 it will take too long to count them all but uh, I like them all they're very convenient. And of course, they also like consider, if you look at WeChat, for example, they focus a lot on their English version. You can translate very easily. Yes. So it's yes, that's right. very open you and very- You can do the translation. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's very convenient. Taobao, uh, ah, Taobao. Then like most of the banking applications. Uh, like, uh, yes, we can see Taobao and the Dajong Dianping. Yes, yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. Dianping, when I look for uh, yeah. some uh, restaurant. Restaurant. Then like uh, Baidu. Baidu, they bring brings the me maps, everywhere. Yeah. Um, Didi, when Whoa. maybe sometimes uh, I go with Call some friends, taxi. have a beer. Yes. And then, of course, I also like uh, follow like the Air China. Ah. Maybe sometimes I go on a trip. Yes. This app helps me a lot, like to see yeah. if my flights are. Yeah, on time. I like this very yes. much. It, it's great. It's great. Yeah. And then, like when I go running, I use Huawei Health. Okay. Because, like I use the Huawei yeah. smartwatch. Um, and this one, but like this is a friend make me... Wow, you are playing the game. <laughs> you can have a try. <laughs> yeah. Yes, because like I have the friend, like he's working in uh, Douyin. Oh, Douyin. And like he always... Do you, said, have, do you have Douyin? No, he oh, makes no? me download it, but uh, it's. I feel I'm too old. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of corporations are you going to have? Definitely, like we want to... Uh, push more in the market we are currently developing like a lot of new products specifically for the Chinese yeah. market yeah because like the Chinese market is uh, different mm. so like for example you have a lot of shopping malls you have a lot of re big yes. real estate like in Europe it, it is it, things are not like that so like from for us definitely like we are trying our best to adapt to the market and to like bring a solution that really fits in the market yes. because like we have some product and we were struggling a bit to, to, to get some traction in China. Okay, so you're just trying to find ways to fix, to fix the Chinese market now? Yes, yes. So we are trying to contribute like with the uh, ice and snow technology, of course. Um, but like on a bigger level, I think, of course, uh, Chinese companies are doing great lately. Yeah. If you just look at uh, all the companies that you see here from Alibaba, Huawei, Tencent, uh, Jingong and so on, like all of those companies now, they do very great stuff. Yeah. So all of them, of course, like I see a great future. Yeah, but how do you see about the uh, commercial environment in China? It's do good, it's good? good. I just heard last week, like uh, there was a, a company in Shanghai called Leping, and they infringed on the copyrights of Lego, for example. And they got a very high fine. I don't know, like they got like several years in prison. So like, I feel China is just trying to make a statement that intellectual property rights, which is one of the biggest concern in the past, is now really under control. So I think I have a big confidence that in the future, the Chinese market will continue to grow. International investors will want to put their money in China and it's uh, good for everyone.